This is how you can create an advanced counting system for your Discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you will get access to that source code. And on YouTube here, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you will also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom discord bot any of this is of interest to you go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go and get into the video so we can start off by going over to our schemas.js and we're going to go ahead and create counting schema.js so in here we're going to go ahead and create it just like this we're going to have our guild our channel our number and our last user the guild is going to be a string the channel will be a string the number is going to be a number and the last user will be a string and you can just call it counting and export it as counting as well. So then after that, we can go over to our moderation and we can go ahead and create counting.js. And here we can do const. We're going to get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder and we can also get our permissions bit field. And then we can do equals require and we're going to go ahead and get our discord.js package. Next, we can do const counting equals require, and we can go ahead and do dot dot slash dot dot slash. We can get schemas and we can get our counting schema. Next, we can do module dot export. So we can go ahead and open this up. We're going to get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. Then we can go ahead and set a name. This is going to be counting. We can set a description. We can say manage your counting system. And then we can go ahead and add a sub command. We're going to do command arrow function command set name. We can go ahead and call this setup. We can then go ahead and say a description. We can say set up the counting system. And we can go ahead and add a channel option. We're going to do option arrow function option dot set name. This can be our channel. And we can go ahead and set description. We can go ahead and say the channel for the counting system. And we're going to go ahead and add channel types. So we can do channel type dot guild text. And then we can go ahead and set require to true. So then after doing that, we can go ahead and add one more sub command. And we can do command arrow function, command us that name. This can be disable. And we can go ahead and set a description. We can go ahead and say disable the counting system. And then we can go ahead and add a comma. We're going to do our async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. And here we can do const. We're going to go ahead and pass in our options. And we can set that equal to our interaction. We can also do two variables here. So we're going to do const sub equals options that get to sub command. And we can also do const data equals await counting dot find one. We can get our guild, which will be our interaction dot guild dot ID. Then we can go ahead and say if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has, we can go ahead and get our permissions bit field dot flags dot administrator. Then we can just go ahead and return await interaction dot apply. And we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to manage the counting system. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true on this message here. So after doing all this stuff, when managing our permissions and creating our variables, we can go ahead and write our commands. So we can do switch. We're going to get sub and open this up. We're going to do case, which is going to be set up in here. We're going to do if data, we can open this up. We're going to go ahead and return await interaction to apply. We can say content and we can say you have already set up the counting system here and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can go ahead and say else and in here we're going to get our channel so we can do cons channel equals interaction the options that get channel and that is going to be our channel then we can do await counting dot create we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get our guild which can be our interaction dot guild dot id we can get our channel which is going to be our channel dot id and we can get our number so we're going to go ahead and set it to one and this number is going to be the number that users have to to input into the channel if they want to get the correct answer. I'll show you this uh, in a little bit. So just go ahead and put in one. Next, we can go ahead and create our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we're going to go ahead and set a color. We can go ahead and make this blurple. And we can go ahead and set a description. I'm going to go ahead and open up an emoji. I can just do this one. And we can go ahead and say the counting system has been set up. Go to. And we can go ahead and open up our channel. And we can say and start at number one. Then we can go ahead and send this. So we can do await interaction to apply. And we can get our embeds. We're also going to get our embed. And we can set informal to true. So then after doing that, we're going to go ahead and come out of here. 
here we can go ahead and break and we're going to get our case this is going to be disable we can go ahead and add a colon here we can come down here we're going to say if no data we can open this up we're going to go ahead and return await interaction to reply and we can go ahead and say contents and we can say you don't have accounting system set up yet and we can go ahead and set informal to true then we can go ahead and say else and we can go ahead and open this up we can do await counting that deletes one we can open this up we're going to get our guild which can be our interaction guild id then after doing that we can go ahead and create another embed but because we already have the embed and the send message we're just going to go ahead and copy it we can go ahead and replace all of this i'm going to go ahead and open up a different emoji we'll do this one and we can go ahead and say the counting system has been disabled for this server and that's actually all we have to do for the commands here. So next we're gonna go over into our index.js file and we're gonna go ahead and create the logic for the system. So we can start by giving this a title so we can do counting and then we can do client.on, we can get events.message creates. We can get async message and we can go ahead and open this up. We can start off by saying if and we can say no message.guild, then we can just go ahead and return. Then we can say if message.author.bot we're also just going to go ahead and return and then we can do const data equals await counting dot find one we can get our guild which is going to be our message dot guild the id then we can say if no data we can just go ahead and return here and then we can say else we're going to open this up we can say if message dot channel the id is not equal to our data dot channel then we can go ahead and return Then we can say const number equals we're going to use our number function and we can do message dot content because the message content is a string we actually have to use a function to get it to a number next we can go ahead and say if and we can do number is not equal to data dot number then we can go ahead and open this up we're going to go ahead and return message.react and we're going to open up some emojis i'm going to get the x symbolizing that it did not work so then after doing that we can go ahead and do else if data.last user is equal to our message.author.id then we can go ahead and open this up we can do message.react and we're going to go ahead and get that exact same emoji and the reason why we're doing this is because our last user is going to be the person who last got the number correct for the count and we don't want people to just spam count so we're going to go ahead and make a catch to see if that last user is trying to do it again, and if they got it right and they're doing it again, then we just send an error saying, you can't do this again, let somebody else do it. Uh, so I'll show you that obviously in the test, um, but here we can do a wait message.reply and we can go ahead and just open this up. I'm gonna get that same X emoji and we can go ahead and say someone else has to count that number just like that. So next, all we have to do is make it so it actually worked and save some data to our schema. So we can do else and we're going to do await message.react. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We can get our check mark here, symbolizing that it did work. And we can do data.lastUser equals message.author.id. We can also do data.number plus plus, so adding one to our number. And we can do await data.save just like that. So with that, we are actually done with this entire system because we just finished our logic and our setup and disable commands. The last thing that we actually have to go ahead and do is up here, we have to do const counting equals require and we're gonna go ahead and do dot slash. We can get schemas and we're gonna get our counting schema. The reason for this is because we actually have to define the schema. I forgot to do that. So after doing that, we can go ahead and restart the bot to test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna go ahead and create a counting channel just for this. So we can just call this counting. So now we can just go ahead and run our commands to set this up. So we're gonna get our setup command and we can choose our counting channel. And as you can see, it's gonna say the counting system has been set up. Go to counting channel and start at number one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this up so I can do it on two different accounts and I'll test this out in just a second. So like I was saying before, you actually have to alternate who counts in the system. So I'll show you this now. So let's say I'm on my main account here and I start with a zero. So obviously it's not gonna work and it's gonna give me the X, but let's say I do one, it's gonna work. Now, obviously the next number after one is two. So we can just go ahead and say two, but it's gonna give me an X saying someone else has to count that number. So even though it's the right number, it's gonna give me an error saying someone else has to do it. So over on this account, I can count two and it's gonna tell me that it's working. 
And now obviously if I try to do three, it's gonna say someone else has to count this number. Something else you could do to make this go a little bit smoother here so it doesn't fill the channel with that error message is you could actually go ahead and make this a variable. So you can do const msg equals, and then we can go ahead and set a timeouts and we can do async. So we can use async in here and we can do await msg delete just like that and then for our timeout we can just make this like five seconds so we can do 5,000 milliseconds so now we can actually go ahead and test this out again okay so here we're at three and i'm on this account so we're gonna have to try it out over here so we do three it's gonna work now let's say i did four this time as you can see it's gonna say somebody else has to count this number and it's gonna go in and delete that message right about now there it goes that way the channel isn't too crowded with messages so we can keep counting up it's gonna be four and then five and then six. Now, obviously, if I type something random in here, it's gonna give me an X, even though it's a number or not, it doesn't really matter. It's still gonna give me an X saying that it didn't actually count. So that's how you can create an advanced counting system for your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be able to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.